Good morning, everybody. This Friday morning, with uh, De- moment of destiny with Pastor Adibo coming your way this morning. Uh, I want to also start your day with thanking God and blessing Him and glorifying Him for now that Friday, literally the last Friday of this month of March. The month is moved so quickly, and in all this, from January to now, all I can see is the faithfulness of God. Can you go ahead and join me to thank the Father? Let's thank Him for a God that answers prayers. Let's appreciate Him. Father, we thank you. We glorify your name. Receive all our praise. If there is no God like you, there is no place where we will be today. Thank you for what you are doing in our life, what you are doing, and what you are about to do. Glory be to your name for what you are doing today. In Jesus' name, amen. We're talking about faith. We'll be operating the school of faith. And today, Friday, is always our day of fasting and prayer. And I want you to know that if you learn the secret of fasting and praying, prayer has a way of strengthening your faith. Jesus said, I prayed for you that your faith may not fail. I have prayed that your faith will not fail. So there's something that prayer does to your faith. Prayer seems to cement your faith not to be weak. Uh, because prayer is a form of expression of faith. But uh, the, the, the place I'm going here today is the fact that faith can help you to refuse the negative circumstance in your life. And the Bible says in the Hebrews chapter 11, 24, that Moses refused by faith. Moses refused to be called the daughter of Pharaoh. And by faith, you can refuse negative report. By faith, you can say, no, I stand against this report, uh, this medical verdict on my life. I refuse because the Bible says, he himself took my infirmity and bore my sin upon his body. On the strength of this word, I refuse this pain. I refuse this death sentence. Oh, they told you you have one, one week to live. You say, no. I refuse. I refuse it. I refuse it. I refuse that negative news. Like, just like an example, what is going on in the world right now? Uh, the been in the war, Ukraine and Russia. The reason why the war is not over is because Ukraine refused to give up. They refuse to surrender. In a similar way, by faith, you too refuse to surrender. You refuse to surrender. Yes, the enemy may be bombing you, may be trying to destroy you, but refuse to surrender to him. And to do that is faith, faith. And as long as you are fighting with faith, you have not yet been conquered. You are fighting the good fight of faith. I want to encourage you. Standing the good fight of faith is standing on the word of God. Lord, this is what your word says. This nasty headache. No, I refuse you to stay in my head. Get out. Get out now. Go out now. That is how you use your faith to chase our mountains. I want to build a mountain around you. You open your mouth. When you speak the word of God, you are releasing your faith. When you release your faith against negative circumstances, you wanted, you want your life, things to go as it is written, not, not as it's happening. You don't want, the only way to control what is happening is to speak what is written. So use the word to stand against what the enemy wants to establish in your life. Fight. If you don't fight, the enemy will take over. What you don't confront has a right to remain. That is why you must fight with faith and prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, right now. Ah, because today is a day of fasting and prayer. He said, this kind goeth not out. He said, by fasting and prayer, every stubborn situation, everything that looks impossible around me right now, I begin to speak into you. You must change course in the name of Jesus. My finance must change. This mountain of debt must go. Lord, help me to live by the rules of the covenant. Help me to abide by the terms of the covenant in the name of Jesus. Help me, Lord. Give me power to lay down, to do my part of your instruction in the name of Jesus. Satan, you have no right to, to take me out with this deadly terminal disease. I refuse. You will not take over my life. You are not taking over my children. No, I refuse you, Satan. You are not taking over my marriage. No, this situation is going to change for my for my testimony. In the name of Jesus, as I fast and pray today, every stubborn challenges, you must give way by this fasting 
I position myself to refuse the enemy's aggression in my life. This pain, go in Jesus' name. It is done. In Jesus' name, amen. So, if you are not born again to this prayer after me, uh, Father, I come to you right now. Forgive me my sins. Wash me with your blood today. I receive as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving my soul. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So, wherever you are right now, please know that you are born again. We have prayed that prayer. And I also want to say to you, please join us tonight. I will be praying with you on how to reverse negative circumstances. So, faith is a multi-level force that can turn things around. Faith is like a roundabout. It's a multi-level, multi-functional force of the spirit. You can use faith to reverse negative situation. Join me tonight. I'll be teaching and leading us in prayer. How to use your faith to reverse negative news, to reverse negative circumstances. And I believe that today you see the glory of God. You see the glory of God in your life. In Jesus' name. Please, everybody share this broadcast. Bless somebody in Jesus' name. God bless you. See you tonight by 7 p.m. on Zoom. And that is 530-377-8530. That is the Zoom by 7 p.m. UK time, which is 3 p.m. Washington DC time and 8 p.m. Nigerian time. Join us for this life-changing prayer meeting. And you'll never remain the same again. And on, on Facebook will be 8 p.m. which is 4 p.m. U.S. time and 9 p.m. Nigerian time. God bless you. See you tonight. Bye-bye.